All right, are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should I go? Uh huh. Proclamation to immigration, and we started our own culture from the Harlem Renaissance and then the Civil Rights Movement. Then we went to the militant from the Black Panthers, and from my perspective, that's when my parents took their exodus in reference to Moses and the Hebrew Israelites and moved to the state of Israel. They moved to the desert in a socialist party to the city of Dimona. Here's where I was raised. Here is where life wasn't normal because it was socialist and I went through a lot of hardships being raised around bombs and surviving the Gulf War that Saddam Hussein was trying to kill us because right outside of this town is where the nuclear plants were. Here is where we would take family vacations to a place called En Gedi. It's sort of like Hawaii in the middle of the desert. Now I'll give you quick shots of my father because I haven't seen him but once in all two years that I've been in the States. We would also go visit Tel Aviv, which is the capital. Here's where my father would do shows and he would play softball. There is where you would, like, suicide bombing was nothing. We immigrated back to the United States. First we went to Rome. And when you think of Rome, you think of such a rich history and culture that we all learn today in school. And I feel like from that, I need to find out my own history. Then we moved into Glenwood, Illinois. I stayed on this block with my grandparents where my grandma died of colon cancer and one of me in that house. And my, my grandfather died no less than a year after from suicide. From our moving to Glenwood, Illinois, I went to Brookwood Junior High, and I decided to start creating my own history. There is where I received numerous awards, from honor roll to achievements in music, even the governor. That's Brookwood Junior High, and that's Brookwood Middle School from where I was. Now, I stayed there all the way to sophomore year in high school. 
Then my mom moved us to Evergreen Park because she realized that in this world, it depends on what high school you go to to also get into a good college. This was a predominantly white high school, like 10% black, and there I also started making a name for myself, creating my own, my own history. I quickly adapted, getting on the honors programs, and I also won MVP twice for track and field. Just three months ago, my mother decided to move to Florida, and she basically gave each one of her children a box. And it says, on each box, it just said, you know, Ellie Who's Memories, or my sister Rabona's, you know, Here's Your Life, and such. From this, I have the numerous awards that I didn't even know she kept from when we first got to this country, all the way up until shop records. Which, in comparison, I feel is like, back when my ancestors came to this country, they were treated as property where everything was just about numbers and physical and how much value they were.